render the demonstration of Bob Goose converter using PIC microcontroller along with voltage display on this 16 by 2 LCD. So here uh, main input voltage for this system is going to be the around 17 volts we are providing that is 16 to 17 based on the input voltage from this main source. So here we are providing 230 volts AC and the using this transformer we are going to step down the 12, uh, 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and from here so the 12 volts of AC signal AC voltage will be converted into 12 volts of pulsating DC. So here the 4 diodes are connected in bridge rectifier manner so that we will get the pulsating 12 volts DC and after this there will be one capacitor of 1000 microfarad so as we know that after filtration from the AC uh, pulsating DC so the pulsating DC given as input to the 1000 microfarad capacitor and here the 1000 microfarad capacitor will uh, convert the pure uh, pulsating DC to the pure DC in that step in that conversion so we are going to get the 1.4 into input voltage that is a VRMS so that voltage is near to 17 volts or 16 volts around so based on the input voltage from the transformer and after the rectifier so from there we are going to provide the 5 volts AC voltage sorry 5 volts DC voltage to our peak microcontroller that is peak 16 of 72 we are using and here from A0 pin we are measuring the voltage and the next this one is the bug boost converter circuit with the two MOSFETs so here so based on the trigger input signals from this C0, C1 sorry uh, C1, C2 pins because the C1, C2 are the hardware PWM pins in our microcontroller so hardware PWM nothing but pulse width modulation signals will be generated based on the input voltage monitor from these wires so the input main voltage is going to be the two inputs so two or three inputs sorry so one is main input voltage of uh, the VRMS voltage that is 16 to 17 volts and after that from the buck converter we are going to measuring of the 5 volts input voltage 5 volts uh, voltage conversion that is a bug operation and coming to the boost operation that particular 5 volts input voltage will be step up to the 12 volts near to 12 volts so this is the main purpose of the project so main input is eight, uh, around 17 to 18 volts or 16 to 17 volts and that particular voltage will be uh, buck to the 5 volts and then after the particular 5 volts will be boost to the 12 volts around so let us see the demonstration so once we provide the power supply to the system so there will be one welcome message on the screen so we can see that and after that so as we discuss the input voltage is 15.96 so it will be variable voltage so based on the input voltage from the transformer and the next output of first thing buck is 4.74 and coming to the boost after 4.949 this voltage will be boosted to the 12 volts so this is the main input output 1 of buck converter output 2 of the boost converter so right and here we interface this LCD module to the B2 to B7 of our peak microcontroller and coming to this motherboard so there will be one crystal oscillator and this one is a program uh, power LED indication it will indicate as the power status of our motherboard and this is the restart switch so just when you press this and release then the kit will be restart and this particular program LED will blink on and off two times and these are the five pins of the programming pins to load the microcontroller with Xcode from the laptop thank you